Jack, uh, back out this Saturday for fight number 11. Um, just been watching you, keeping your tools nice and sharp. How's everything gone, mate? Yeah, feeling sharp. I've been in gym now for months and then, so it's like the longest camp I've ever had. It's like a <laughs> five month camp. Well, so. <laughs> you've been on unfortunate haven't you I mean there's been some big fights lined up for you I mean yeah. first of all I came and chatted to you about that to Alex Hughes yeah and that never happened no. and then we were talking about Joe Malander yeah uh, was that for his East West yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. IBF East West European title something like that yeah, yeah. Um, there's even talk about a local derby with uh, maybe you and Dale Coyne that yeah. could happen a little bit further down the line if there's something that can yeah. you both be fighting for. The title, yeah. That's what I mean, is this is um big fights there but it's just Just not happened at present. With that it might happen with the title. Like, obviously I want that fight, um, and then with the other two fights that didn't that didn't happen. They they pulled out for but um, as far as I'm aware, they pulled out for whatever reason. So, um, must be frustrating them, though, can happen. Yeah, hopefully, them fights can happen quite like, sometime in the near future. But I've been training hard for them fights, so. Well, we don't know you've got on the thingy, because we're not sure. Uh, there's a couple of names down there, but we don't know which one's yours, so we won't bother talking about your opponent. But, um, Obviously, it's a fight that you. What's going to be? Just a four or a six rounder? This? Six rounder, yeah. Six rounder. Keep your ticking over, keeping yourself ready for whatever yeah. comes up. Looks like, like we were saying before, there could be a lot of big fights on the horizon. Yeah, well, between June or July, something like that, it's looking like I'm going to have a big fight. So, whether well, we, it's, I don't know whether, I, whether I'm keeping busy to them, but by, by July, I'm um, something. Whether it's you know whether it's that fight with Mullinder or like like been saying we mentioned Dale Coyne or whatever. Well, do you know something? I think that'd be a fight that would get a lot of people's interest around here because Dale's, as yourself, uh, an up and coming young fighter, unbeaten. Yeah. I think he's thirteen and oh. Yeah. Hopefully, by the time that happens this weekend, you'll you'll move to eleven and oh. Yeah. Almost identical records, really. I think he's had three stoppages. You. Maybe well, you've got three now. You maybe have four. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so realistically, that that could, that could be a so could grab the locals' um, attention. That fight, couldn't it? That's what I mean. Yeah, it's uh, local derby, two undefeated fighters. Don't get much better. Exactly, that, exactly yeah. what you want to see in it when you when you're watching boxing, especially when you're watching it in Manchester. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean. It's either that or. Ideally, fighting uh, Joe Munder again for the t for the title, for the European title, like like that's been mentioned two times to me now, and it's not happened. So, how, how do you keep your how do you keep yourself focused then? Because I'm, it must I'm be right. hard. I mean, this is like you were saying, this is probably four months you've yeah. been preparing now. Well, I fought in November when I was meant to be fighting a, another undefeated prospect, but. I fought in November, I had a week off, and then I've, I've been in gym since November. <laughs> so, I've, but because I'm hungry and I enjoy boxing, it's not it's not like it's a, a big, big well, deal. Well, say that, tell me you've been moving around because you've been moving around with some quality kids in the northwest, haven't you, just recently? Yeah, I've been uh, done a little bit of sparring with Liam Smith recently. Uh, sparring with Jack McGann for his, his debut, he's fighting on Tyson Fury on the card. Uh, sparring, that's what I mean, I've been doing good rounds. Uh, Luke Catchy last week, he's an undefeated light heavyweight. I've been, I've been doing some good rounds. You know, if, if you're not fighting, that's what you've got to be doing. You've got well, to be, you've I was got going to say, fight. as you've, you're not been fighting, are we going to see something different? Because, like I say, you've been in the gym four or five months now, constantly yeah. improving, hopefully. And then, uh, are we going to see a, a, a different uh, Jack Flatley on uh, Saturday night? Well, I, I think what you're going to see is just more experience. Like you can see that it's given me good experience for having people like that. And, um, probably the start of my pro career, I'd have, like, if, it have, if it have not had a fight lined up, I'd have probably gone away from gym a little bit. But because I've been in gym, still been in gym like six days a week, even seven days a week sometimes. I know, I'm still picking little things up, and then they're coming into my sparring. So I just, Saturday night, you should see like a lot more, a lot more variety in my work. Obviously, I'm going to be fit because I've been in gym for months and <laughs> ends. So um, 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm buzzing for it, yeah. All right, Jack. Well, I look forward to seeing you. Victoria Warehouse, Saturday night. And uh, when I see you next, hopefully I'll be chatting to you and you'll be 11-0. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Take care, mate. Cheers, Bye. Thanks.